Well, good morning. I'm Martin Tyne with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation, and we've got a little friend here. It's a little hummingbird that uh, hit a window, has a concussion, has some balance issues, but uh, he, uh, he's gotten very used to, to me helping him a little bit because of his balance issues. In fact, when I reach around and pick him up, he's got a beautiful little purple throat right there. Come on, baby. And I take him over to his, his water or his uh, hummingbird food. He likes to get a drink. seems to be comfortable just sitting in my hand. Well, let's bring him out where you can get a good look at him here. You've got to be very, very careful. He's very, as you can see, he's very t Oh, that's my baby. Such a pretty little thing. Little purple throat. Just as cute as you could possibly imagine. Just wanted to see his throat. Oop, Sue. Move your hand. Okay. He's starting to get a little more active now. That's good. As you can see, when he came in, he couldn't perch, and it's just a matter of time to to see if uh, neuro just a touch the other way to see if neurologically he'll be uh, he'll be okay. But he's he's eating well, and so he's just just a beautiful little animal. That's my baby. Let me get this. There we go. Let me get my hand out of the way. There we are with my little one. You know. You know, I work with eagles all the time, and they're, and they're magnificent, and they're majestic, and and they are dinosaurs, and they're they're just so amazing to to think about, you know, about these beautiful, beautiful eagles. But something that's every bit as impressive to me personally is is this little hummingbird. Um, so tiny, so delicate, have all of the same kinds of features that the eagle has, but just in a very, very tiny sense. You know, they're such beautiful, beautiful little creatures and so amazingly uh, developed for what they do. Uh, it's very fun to watch him uh, drink his hummingbird nectar. And uh, like I said, he gets very comfortable. Um, most of the hummingbirds that I get in are very flighty and they don't like to be close to humans because it frightens them. There's the purple. Yeah, show me your pretty purple, sweetheart. Oh, well, we got fresh fruit flies ordered they'll be in tomorrow morning yeah so we do and that's one thing that people need to understand is is they don't just eat nectar or sugar water or those kinds of things they have to have uh, protein so they have to have insects and so uh, we've got fruit flies coming uh, to to give them the protein that he needs but I just thought I'd show you our kind of our latest little little friend here uh, the last one that we did um, was a acting just like this and had a balance issue and when it recovered and started flying around its little container here uh, we took it out and we opened the door and I couldn't even put my hand in but we opened the door and within less than a second it was out the door and and just flying flew flew you know across the street and past the trees and just gone it was beautiful to watch it leave so anyway a big difference from the eagles that I that I work with and the hawks and falcons, but every bit as magnificent. Oh, there its little tongue sticks out. How cute. Yes, you are. You're just the cutest little thing. Let me put him back down and whoop, there he goes. He put himself back down. Down by the water for the feeder. Yeah. Put him over by the feeder. Hey, little purple throated thing. There you go, baby. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you can have some more to drink. So, in the last two weeks, we've had three hummingbirds come in. And they've each flown into windows and gotten a concussion. Having some neurological issues. First one that came in over a week ago is finally improving where he can perch. The one that came in yesterday's had a much milder concussion than the first two. And this little guy's still really off balance, but he is making progress. Amazing what 
all the hazards humans cause to our wildlife. Windows, cars, fences, weed killers, and bug killers. Too many hazards. I just want to give you a little update on the Hummers. We lost the little ruby throated. Um, they, we've had a whole lot come in from hitting windows this year. We have two black throated in right now and one of them's ready for release. He's buzzing all over the place. There you go. And uh, so that's, that's really wonderful. I think we will be taking him out this afternoon and letting him turn loose. And the other one is doing well, but not quite ready for release yet. He's feeding himself good. But this guy's just about ready for release. So, <clears throat> aren't you little guy? You gonna fly for us one more time? And then we'll get your videoing. So, yep, he's about ready to go. Hi, I'm Susan with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation. We've got a couple of hummingbirds here that have struck windows. They are ready to go. I've taken their flowers and their feeder out of here so I can carry this outside. One of them's gonna stay with us a while longer. He's not quite as good yet. Um, but one is just buzzing all over the place. I'm gonna get I gotta, some video of him. You can get it right up close. You can see right through the screen. You can put it right up next to touch, touching the screen. Yeah, it's not very clear. Can you find him? Oh, there I thought he was. Oh, there's, now, there's a... now it's focused. Hi, little one. Yeah, you're ready to go home, aren't you? You want me to just unzip the top? Yeah, go ahead and unzip the top and then you I'll just bring it up. Him. He'll probably disappear before you get it. Hi, baby. <laughs> Ready? There he is up in the trees. Got lilacs blooming and flowers all over the garden and hummingbird feeders in back. Does that sunshine feel good, little one? Oh, yes. So it's a little hard to see, but he's right up there. He's right, at, right in the bush, right in the middle of the screen. You can see his wings flapping. Well, there you go, another successful release of a hummingbird. They are such magnificent little creatures. We love to have them around. And we encourage everybody, please uh, uh, put out your, your bird feeders, your hummingbird feeders. Um, you know, please plant uh, flowering plants in your garden to, to give them a, a food source. And just uh, come out in your garden and relax and watch these beautiful, beautiful animals fly around. It's tremendous fun. So anyway, there's our little hummingbird and he's... Uh, at a great place and back in the water where he belongs. I hope everybody has a, as good a day as we just had. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>